Let's just close our eyes and posture our heart before the Lord. This is Ephesians chapter 3. For this reason, I bow my knees before the Father of heaven, from whom every family in heaven and on earth takes its name. I pray according to the riches of his glory, he may grant that you be strengthened in your inner being with the Holy Spirit. God, we pray right now for strength for the weary heart. We break off the spirit of discouragement in Jesus' name and say it has no power in this house. That God, you would release faith, you would release hope, a fresh love and understanding of the affection that is for us in Jesus. And that Christ may dwell in your hearts through faith. That you are being rooted and grounded in love. Lord, we pray for every shaky foundation in our spirit right now. Sure it up. Secure us, Jesus, in the love that is unshakable. In a love that is unfading and never ending. I pray that you may have the power to comprehend with all the saints what is the breadth, length, and height, and depth. And to know the love of Christ that surpasses knowledge. So you may be filled with all the fullness of God. Jesus, we stand together united as a family. We don't sing these songs as empty words or in vain repetition. We declare that you love us, that you see us, that you know us, that when you knit us in our mother's womb, you knew exactly where we would be on this day. And God, we stand in full confidence as a family. Strengthen the weary. Give hope to the hopeless. Jesus, we stand right now with our brothers and sisters throughout the globe. As your church is facing tremendous persecution. God, we thank you for where you've placed us. Lord, we, we don't take for granted the protection you've offered us. But right now we lift up our brothers and sisters in the persecuted church. With that being said, I want to invite up Maureen and Bud real quick that work in our community store. Uh, we had a very unusual testimony take place this week. But we want to go into prayer for Afghanistan yet again. We know that the news cycle may end, but that's in the courts of heaven right now. And we need to continue to pray for our brothers and sisters in Afghanistan. But Maureen, why don't you share quickly what happened? Hi. When you think about the community store, you're probably thinking about, you know, the clothes that we give away to people, but it's really so much more than that. Um, we, uh, our philosophy is that it's not about the clothes. And a couple of weeks ago, I was in the store, and Fatima came in. She's an Afghani refugee. She's been coming about three years. Her husband was an interpreter for the American Army. They've gone from the two children that she had at that time up to five now. And well, she came in, and I went up to her, and I asked her, I said, how are you doing? And she said, fine. And I said, how is your family doing in Afghanistan? And immediately, tears welled up in her eyes, and... She just clutched my arm, and she said, you know, my family is in hiding right now. My father's been shot by the Taliban. I'm so afraid. I don't know what's going to happen to them. And I, said, I just said, you know, Fatima, can we pray for you? And so she, you know, checked out, and we all gathered around, and tears were flowing, you know, with all of us as we just prayed for her, for her family, for their safety, for all the people that are and the refugees that are left behind in Afghanistan because, you know, we don't know what's going to happen. Only God knows what's going to happen with them. There's, I don't know if you are aware, but Sacramento is home to the largest population of Afghani refugees in the country. Most of them live in the Arden Arcade area, but a lot of them are being settled here in Roseville as they've, you know, overflow kind of. So if we can just pray for those people, we, you know... We do Good. appreciate it. And, you know, if, you're, if you have any inclination at all, it's really, it isn't about the, the clothes that we give away. It's about the, what we, the interactions we have with these people. And we're looking for more volunteers because the, if we don't have enough, we can't, we can't interact with, with them. We're just hanging up clothes. And that's not the mission. That's not why we're there. So, but Carol, it's out in the lobby. And if you would please just consider signing up and just volunteering it's two hours a month that's all we're asking you can bring your kids yeah i just want to say you know when we think about the community store the toy outreach the food pantry the backpacks all that stuff that we do 
those are just vehicles to get us to this point right here where we can, uh, it's like our foot in the door where we can just uh, be there for people. So uh, just a lot of work to get to this. But, you know, this is what it's all about. I mean, this is how we grow the kingdom. And this is uh, how we get people to, you know, uh, see what Christ is like in our behavior. So it acts of time uh, um, that, that, that we do, but it's really just to get to this point right here. So just grab a hand of the person next to you right now. We're going to pray for our brothers and sisters. Jesus, we thank you again for what you're doing. We thank you for this team as you've brought Bud and Carol and Maureen and many others, countless others, have given hundreds and thousands of hours to this community. We thank you for the fruitful testimony of someone that does not yet know you, has not experienced the love of Jesus. They witnessed the love of Jesus through our brothers and sisters. And right now we pray for everyone in the persecuted church. Strengthen them, Holy Spirit. We pray for radical conversions amongst the Taliban in Jesus' name. That they would witness your miraculous power. The sick would be healed. The dead would be raised. That you would do miracles in our midst. That every persecuted believer that's in hiding right now, give them faith to declare the goodness of God. Would you bring miraculous provision? We pray for manna from heaven where there is no food and no sources. That God, you bring in, they bring supernatural miracles creative miracles would take place provide food for those that are in need for every one of those children that are in hiding give them comfort and strength holy spirit we thank you for a revival amongst the afghani refugees and throughout afghanistan in jesus name amen amen give it up to jesus real quick